right, guys, we got a player slingshot. So you guys know we love taking street vehicles and putting them in off-road situations that they should not be in. This thing is next in line, and uh, just to make things better, it's a three-wheeler. We love three-wheelers. So naturally, we had to call in possibly uh, the person that loves three-wheelers the most, our friend Gavin. What's Woo! up, fellas? <laughs> this is in the wrong order, though. We have two in the front and one I in the know. back. I don't I know, know about We're this. switching things up, but it, it's still got three wheels. And it's red. And it's red. Honestly, though, I hate to say it, slingshots are kind of lame. Dude, it has three wheels though. I think it's still gonna be, you know. Maybe it's the clientele that mostly owns and drives these things that makes them kind of lame. So this thing is called an auto cycle. So it's like half car, half motorcycle. Auto cycle. The worst of both worlds. Gav likes it though. He showed up and goes, this thing's incredible. A three wheeled car? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen one I this. I think we gotta start by finishing off the wheel. It's got a little too much tread on the rear tire to take the wheel off. So red line, right, Ev? Red line. Only one gear, one gear. Yeah, you might as well blow the motor oh, with no, the rear tire. Get... Just raining tire there. Oh, dude, you were in there. You were breathing through your shirt. It was so bad. Yeah, I don't know how much that helped, but kids, this is why you don't vape, so your lungs can uh, <laughs> handle things like this. You know, they're not overloaded already. Unbelievable. This thing uh, took a little bit longer than intended. I probably got clipped up pretty quick, but I think I was doing a burnout for like five minutes there. What is that? Uh, That's the license plate. No, we didn't want that anyways. All right, I think she's ready to be swapped. All right, so we got some off-road tires for the slingshot. Didn't know they were gonna be this beefy, but uh, should help it get around a little bit better, being that it's just one-wheel drive. Well, other than that, we're not doing a single thing, so it's gonna be bone stock just with tires, and uh, we'll see how she does off-road. Right here, it looks absolutely insane. Wide Dude, road. One of the widest I've seen. <laughs> Too right. From a true three-wheeler enthusiast, I can approve of this one. It's pretty sweet that you can do this to a stock slingshot. I mean, we'll see how well it does uh, in the places that we take it. I don't feel like this is gonna be good at any kind of rock climbing. All right, she's ready to hit the trails. So we're gonna take this thing out, and then we also busted out the Honda three-wheeler Valkyrie uh, that we off-road converted. On top of that, we've got the 450 trike. Gav, yeah, you told me you forgot your cutoff helmet, which we were a little bummed about, but oh, what do we I got, got here? you something equally as good. Oh no. It's a, it's a gift for you. You're kidding me. <laughs> don't, no. don't do this. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Shot, Mike. You're the man, dude. You're a disco ball now. Oh, how do I look? <laughs> Fit this perfectly, the whole look. You're kind of blinding me with it, actually. <laughs> God, this is great. Just me and Ryan against the world here. Yeah, I don't really like riding passenger, and I really don't like that my driver is wearing a neck brace and I'm not. Yeah, you kind of got the shit end of the stick today. We show up here. Ryan goes. Where's my wheeler? I go, oh, nobody told you? You're riding passenger, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as warming an engine up around here. is so sketchy. <laughs> Am I scraping on the front? A little bit. Go, go, go. 
Man, what a ride. I, I would assume it's like the equivalent of just taking like a sports car and just driving down the same trails. Ryan, how you doing? He's holding his back right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel it a bit. The front is getting a little jammed up. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. One, two, three, three. All right, this seems like a good time to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Onyx Off-Road. So Onyx is our go-to app or tool to find off-road trails and to keep the entire crew in the loop when we find ourselves in places without cell service. You can build and share your trip with all your friends so nobody gets lost, and you can download an offline map to see where you are even if you have zero cell service. And with over 6,500 trails on the app, doesn't really matter where you are in the United States, you can pretty much click and find a trail to ride a side-by-side -side dirt bike or in the winter, even your snowmobile, which is super nice for us because we don't have a whole lot of options around here. Also, one of my other favorite parts of the app is you can see who owns what, which I, I don't know, I just find that kind of cool. Even like when we're not riding, I like to see like who owns what property. So that's another like hidden feature. But use the promo code CBOYS to get 20% off or click the link in our description. And if you wanna just try it out and you're not too sure about it, there's a seven day free trial. So you have really nothing to lose. Thank you, Onyx. Now back to slingshotting, shotting, slingshotting. All right, on trails, rough ride. On these like gravel roads, windy roads, dude, so fun. Feels yeah, it like looks a rally fun. Car. This thing's a drifting machine. It yeah. is, dude. It's so fun. Yeah. Got it from the top. Don't know how to stop. Foot is only on the gas. Why do you have to drop? He already dropped. Everybody get left. Even doing that, they just throwing it. Go ahead and check the stats. Yeah. Numbers going, it's a fact. Go ahead and check the stats. Yeah, I find a glitch in the code. Exploit that. Headlight, bro, bouncing around. Too much power for this bike, I'll tell you guys right, that. Right, right, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, the yeah. headlight's breaking. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the problem. This has to still be the hardest thing to ride out here. Basically no suspension and I'm just bop, 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 bop. Oil pan, rock, everything, dude, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, dude. Gonna need a chiropractor tomorrow, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Nobody gets beat up more than Gav in these videos. Yeah. <laughs> for a good cause, I guess, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Gav, it's always self-inflicted, though. <laughs> Gosh, three-wheeler testing and just the other redneck tests, I mean. <laughs> Try to test out the stairs in Breckenridge. <laughs> you know, making sure that the ditch is still there. Can I take it down the ditch? Yeah, it's yours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. His doctors are gonna recommend that he stops it's hanging like, it's out. It's like with a two us. or three month break. That's why we had to take that little break right there, but damn. <laughs> Broke both the wrists, now we're fully back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how's this thing still together? Uh, that's a great question. I'm excited to see this thing on the rally track. Go see how it jumps. <laughs> or you mean flies. I might have to hand the keys over to the master for that one. For the jump? I don't really want you to jump it, but I'm gonna let you. For my own safety or the slingshot safety? Dude, for the slingshot safety. <laughs> It hasn't rained in a month. Mike fills up his water truck to water the track and it starts raining. He really is the water god, dude. Oh god. Can't be all pissed off, no. They're like, oh, we're good. We don't need to use your truck. He's like, god damn it. I spent a thousand dollars on this thing and I've never even got to use it. A thousand bucks? Dude, I think he wishes he spent only Yeah, you're right. Bucks. I think it was like four. Yeah, you know you don't have to ride with him. He's just a one, one person required you know, to drive this. I feel like it's only right, though. Fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> you don't always have a good feeling of right and wrong, though, my friend. Well, it's gotten us this far. <laughs> Are you going straight for it? No! Make a couple laps! A couple laps.
Oh my god! Let's go in! That was so good! Okay? So good! We are so good! We gotta get this thing over. Let's get it over! Alright, alright. Holy all right. smokes, fellas! Yeah, oh, right. no. Watch out. Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy smoke! We went for a ride! I've been driving for legit three minutes. The fact that you did it within two laps. Add it to the resume. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. All right, it needs a little bit of tweakage, but it at least drive. What are you thinking? You still gonna jump it? Are you not curious as to if it can clear that jump? I'm not as curious as you are, but I'd hate to step in between a man and his dreams. Two men in their dreams. No, you're, <laughs> still, you're still riding fast. We're just getting started. No. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this thing still starts. Oh, she's dialed. You know, I gotta give it to this thing. I was pretty skeptical at the beginning of all this, but it really has proven itself. Where it really we? has. The shock absorber, unbelievable! <laughs> Yo. Oh, off. she's low riding now. Oh my! Ev, I think you took the keys about 14 minutes ago. Well, I mean, if you really want to break it down, you beat the heck out of it all day, so it was, it was ready to go. Plus, I had my friend Gav helping me here, so at best, I only see 33%. <laughs> Ain't nobody better at putting the blame on someone else or something else than Evan. It's honest work. <laughs> Wow. Still a piece. This is a much cooler piece. <laughs> All right, it's a beautiful Saturday here in Cormorant, Minnesota. So we're gonna go out on the lake today, take the Hummer. Just need the final piece of the puzzle to make her legal. We're good to go. All right, so since we built this thing, we haven't done a whole lot with it, but we just finally got it registered. So if anyone asks or if we have any problems, it's just a homemade pontoon, as said on the sticker right here. I don't think the DMV knew this was actually a Hummer pontoon. They thought you just built your own pontoon with like a raft and some floaties you got from the scrapyard. Yeah, they didn't ask too many questions of like what was in the middle. They just know that it has a, a 115 motor and pontoons on the outside. Kind of a gray area. Well, actually, they started asking questions, and I said, the less you know, the better. <laughs> and they said, okay. <laughs> when we see the sheriffs today, I'd imagine we'll find out how legal it is. Okay, how many heavies can we get in the back of here, Rye? I think we're rated for about 10,000 pounds. Those are good numbers. <laughs> <laughs> this thing goes down and everyone's like, yeah, what'd you expect? There's a Hummer attached to it. And they're like, oh no, the Hummer was just fine. Gavin had three women on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Gab, if this thing goes down because you pick up so many women, I will be excited. Should we make that a challenge? Yes. All right, I'll get all of them in here. Wow. The cruise is nice. Yeah. This guy is cracking me up. He doesn't know what to do. I don't think anyone would. I think he's still trying to figure out if we're actually going in the water or not. Can they go in the water? It's been tested before. It's good to go. They hope it floats. I put that one on Snapchat. There we go. You ever seen something quite like this? Never. I love it. I hope it works. You can come hang out with I us can't. All right. Call it. Okay. She was kind of wanting me a little bit, wasn't she? You see that I was talking her up. I don't think she wanted anything to do with you, Gab. She's gonna come out in the pontoon. Oh, she just wants something to do with Rye. I don't know what it was. Wait till the sandbar, we'll see what's up. I'm sure we will. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with you boys. We keep hearing that. This is crazy. I think it's nuts. That's crazy. This is awesome. Dude, people love it. I want to watch this go in. That's the biggest thing. Well, I think she's ready. All right, let's do this. 
Dude, no! What? Not right off the bat! I don't even want to show you guys! Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, man! I don't get out of here! Dude, how am I supposed to be all heavy with that? What do I do? What do you mean, what do you do? What do you think you're gonna do? Just roll with it! I really, really trust Look at the crowd watching. See you guys at the sandbar. All right, so the sandbar that we're headed to is pretty much on the complete opposite side of the lake. The issue is that this Homer pontoon goes five miles per hour, so uh, we've got a little bit of a trek, but I think it's gonna be pretty electric when we do roll up. Oh. <clears throat> Back to work, man. So this is what the dream feels like? I think this is what the kids are calling the American dream. I think there was a lot of doubters back there at the launch. Didn't think we'd make it this far. I'm a little anxious. Don't, don't go fast into it, no, what the no, fuck? No. Oh. Oh. I trust it. This Hummer has never let me down before, but I am a little anxious. I don't know if that's a true statement at all. I'd say the Hummer is the weakest part of the entire boat. I'm not worried about the pontoon. In fact, I'm worried about us being able to drive home. We're out of gas. We have a siphon hose to pull from the tank. The Hummer tank is empty too. We're so close. They love it. They think it's working. They don't know we're <laughs> <laughs> This is a tough look. So close to the party too. It's right there. If a guy knew how to swim, you'd probably make it there. Ev, stay on the boat. Yeah, it's not an option for me. Aren't you worried about sinking? Don't say the S word around this boat. Thank you. Let me know what we owe you. Back in action. Alright, what a journey, but we made it. Alright, we finally made it to the sandbar. Now it's time to celebrate. And on this, it really is a celebration because you weren't sure if you were going to make it. So we actually haven't shown this yet, but Mark basically got the coolest pontoon ever. <laughs> so it's a double decker, 36 feet long. No, 38 feet long, excuse me. It comes with a fridge, a mini bar. There's a bathroom in here. He puts life jackets in it though, because he's worried that like Ken or Evan might like take a shit in it. And then the resale value, right down the drain. The coolest part though, is that you go up these stairs and the upper deck, don't mind them, the upper deck has a slide. So you can slide down off the top into the water. And then on top of that, this thing's got dual 350 motors. So it goes, believe it or not, 60 miles an hour. Ridiculous. Tammy, Tammy, I'll call you later, okay? Absolutely not. No, Tammy, Tammy. <laughs> well, I'd say everybody had a pretty successful sandbar except for Gavin. Dude struck out on literally every single chick on the sandbar. But uh, I think, uh, hopefully we make it back. The Hummer seems to be in one piece still. Guess we'll see. How's it going? <laughs> We're heading back right now. Do you guys want to come with? Are you sure? Yeah. Dude, why are they all telling me no, Ben? You might have the worst game of anyone I've ever met. <laughs> Go oh, perfectly. No <laughs> day at the lake does, you know. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it.